Hey everyone, it's uh, it's been a while since I made a video where I just talk instead of having a script, so uh, I thought I'd share something um, about my life. So ever since I was about 16 years old, I have been working in customer service. And uh, believe it or not, I'm, I'm 22 now, I've only had three major jobs. And I really, I won't name where those jobs were at, but uh, I, I'm gonna be sharing some really, really stressful times during those jobs. So when you go out during this holiday season, you will hopefully be um, understanding and maybe a little bit empathetic to uh, our our wee little boys in blue because they're taking time out of out of their lives to work for your convenience. So uh, you should be nice to them unless they're not nice to you. So the first job I had, it was a customer service job. I had it for six years and I worked for the government. And what was really fun about that job is that I got to learn more skills as I was there. And so I started off in one area of this place and grew my skills like tenfold until I practically knew how to do almost everything there. Not everything, but a lot of things. If you, if you, if you're where I'm from, which is Nebraska, you may or may not have seen ads before some movies promoting, um, some sort of outdoor wilderness fun activities. You, you'll probably know the ad, but uh, there are a few shots of people jumping off a dock and even shots of people fishing out of canoes. And a uh, fun fact, I was there for that. And it's actually a really stressful story. So the day that this commercial was filmed, um, I was working down at the first area that I ever worked. This is my first year working at the at this place. And it was just a regular, normal, ordinary, slow day. And I was working with one of my coworkers. And um, all of a sudden, this we see this film crew. They're setting up on our dock. And we're like, okay, like, what is going on? And so we go outside and we go and talk to them. And they, like, pull out all these papers. And they're like, we have permission to film here. And we're like, uh, okay, yeah, sure. Like, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop you from, like, doing your job. Like, you have, like, these legal papers. So, like, yeah, of course, go right ahead <coughs> but then this is where it gets stressful then they ask us to take all of our paddle boats all 12 of them out from around the dock and onto the shore because they were too ugly to be in the shot and we're like okay like you have this permission we're going to take these boats off the water off the dock and onto the shore and it's a slow day so like obviously it's not gonna like matter much wrong Wrong, 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 wrong. And so, of course, as soon as we take all of the paddle boats off of the water, people come wanting paddle boat rides. And we're like, uh, sorry, we like, we like can't give you these rides because there are these people out filming on the water. And the customers are like, can I speak to your manager? And my manager wasn't in that day. So we're just like, uh, well, no, she's, she's not here. And they're like, okay, we'll be back. And then they left and we're like, oh, what does that mean? And so probably about 20 minutes later, the superintendent comes walking in and he's like, what did you tell those people? And we're like, um, we told them they couldn't get boat rides because there are people out there filming on the lake. And then he says, well, you're going to find all those people and give them a free paddle boat ride because you were so disrespectful to them. So we took four paddle boats off the shore and put them back in the water and gave those people their free ride. And then from the dock, we could hear the director yelling at them to get out of their shot. And I'm like, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So the director guy was not happy with us and then we told him to talk to our superintendent but he didn't want to do that. He wanted to shift all the blame onto us and it's just like we're just two high school kids. Like what are we? We have no power. And so they filmed all the rest of the day including filming things that you absolutely cannot do where you work. A. Jump off the dock. B fish from the boats because it's a health hazard. So they just made, they wanted to make this ad look more, make the 
make these areas look more fun than they actually are, whatever. And so at the end of the day, we have to leave, we're locking up or whatever, and we're like, okay, we have to go. And they're like, uh, no, the cast and crew we're gonna be filming tonight, they need a bathroom, like a nice bathroom so they can like put their makeup on or whatever. And we're like, ugh, okay, well, we'll just leave our bathroom unlocked and just like call security to have them lock up the bathrooms when we're done. And they're like, Okay, that sounds good. And then I worked the next morning, and when I got there, the bathrooms were trashed. They were absolutely trashed. There was mud streaked all over the floors, and the the mirrors were all greasy. And I'm like, this has to be a joke. I, like, what? So needless to say, when I saw this uh, advertisement in front of one of the movies I was watching, I, I rightfully screamed, had nom flashbacks. Um, I can't even tell you the amount of times I had people, mostly teenage boys, walk in when I was cleaning a bathroom and laughed at me. There was also another time in my second year working where this kid came in, got a hot dog, left for five minutes, came back, told us he threw up all over the bathroom, and then asked us to call his mom. And we're like, okay, like, fine, we'll use one of our phones to call your mom. But it was in the boys' bathroom, so I had to go clean it up because my coworker was a girl. And when I get in there, I, he was not lying. He had thrown up all over the bathroom, only a little bit in the sink. And what he had thrown up in the sink, not to get graphic, but it was chunky. And so like I grabbed a stick and like tried to like push it, push it down the drain. That took the better half of an afternoon to clean up. I did not work there this last summer after six years and barely even a raise. I decided it was time to move on to a different place. But this summer I found it incredibly difficult to find jobs due to my lack of experience. But you'd think six years of customer service at one place shows not only loyalty but also some sort of knowledge in like something. But uh, I decided to work for an actual corporation this time, so I worked for a movie theater over the summer. And there are there were considerably less stressful times at this place, there was one time we have a, a discounted movie day, and usually in the morning, a lot of caretakers bring um, their disabled or handicapped um, patients, relatives, children, to come see the movies because there are hardly anybody there during the day. And one day when I was taking tickets or whatever, this one lady was like handing me money and I reached out to take it, and then the person that she was caring for grabbed my wrist really hard and just was not letting go. And I, I stayed calm. I, I wasn't going to like just wrench my hand away because that might have made the situation worse. So I just kind of like held my arm there and like did all the cash stuff with my other hand or whatever. And then I was like handing her the tickets one handed. And she just kind of looks like, oh, he does that all the time. And just like lightly batted his wrist and then he let go of me. And I'm like... If that's all it took, but again, I only thought that because maybe doing that in person made have, might have escalated the situation. Who knows? The last job I have, I have a job at my college. And basically it is, for every part of the year, we have these middle schoolers come in who are doing these projects about historical figures, so they have to get costumes to reflect that historical figure. And it's our job to help them pick out costumes that best reflect a time period, as well as just like an indication of who they are. And also finding stuff that fits and makes them feel comfortable. That is the important part. But what's really hard, and this, this comes with insight. I can say I'm old enough now to have insight. Um, I find a lot of the time the parents of these kids who are doing this project care a lot more than the kids. The kids will usually have like one or two pictures pulled up and whenever you pull out something, you'll be like, is this good? And they'll be all like, oh yeah, I guess. Which is really infuriating because I'm like, I want you to look good and feel good. We need to communicate. And then it's no good because like, I don't want to be too pushy, but then the parents are just all like, be nice. They're taking time out of their day to do this for you. So can you say more than two words, please? And then um, I've been in the middle of more than one argument in my like almost three years working down there, so. And I just wanna, I just really wanna point out, not all customers are like this. These are really just like more standout stories because the majority of people are very easy to work with. 
A majority of people are just so compliant, but it's the outliers that really stick with you and just can make you have a really bad day. So when you're out this holiday season, be nice to people who are working in customer service. So just be mindful. And this is Dustin signing off, but only for now.